Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about um, the vision of unity, and this is only my opinion, I guess. Uh, you know, I, I like to give that disclaimer. It's just an opinion, but it's an opinion that's based on being around the world and being in um, wrestling for, you know, 30-some years now. And, and the visions of the unity of the area, for example, you know, let's take Russia. Why can't we take Russia as an example? And, and we, uh, you know, we, we talk about the Caucasus Mountains. We talk about that region. We talk about um, the things that they do really well. Why, what, what has, what allows them to be able to put, you know, Olympic gold medalists on the podium, even if they have a, a returning Olympic gold medalist and then he doesn't wrestle and then they plug another guy in there and then he wins a world. That's happened on, on many occasions. And, you know, from, from a selfish point of view and maybe, maybe from a little bit of an arrogant point of view, I would say that we believe that Iowa City can be that way. And the first step to that is Eastern Iowa wrestling. Um, providing a place where coaches can come and be comfortable, where kids can come, student athletes can come and be comfortable. And uh, they're going to learn supplemental um, things about their wrestling, meaning nutrition, mental toughness, affirmations, um, strength, nutrition, did I say nutrition already, conditioning, endurance, um, all the things that matter to wrestling. And what we want to do is we want to provide that information to them. Number one, we want to provide it on a physical level. Uh, and number two, we want to provide it in a educational, at an educational level. Uh, one of the things that we do really well is we talk to our kids before every workout. We talk to them about the importance of of life and living and you know your moral compass going the right way and and how to eat and sleep and 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 you know how you socialize properly etc cetera, etc cetera. and we've had a really good response to that and we've seen tremendous growth just over the first year that we did this where where kids would come in and um, went first time maybe away from their parents and they wouldn't look at you in the eye and by you know January they're looking they're looking into your eyes when you talk to them that means a lot to me and um, that's what we're after here we are after being able to do um, what the Russians do in in the Caucasus Mountains in in Chechnya region in um, you know Dagestan uh, places like Kasavirt, places like uh, um, Novo, um, um, Mahachkala, places out in Siberia where, you know, even though they're really, really far away, they're all in a cohesive place where, you know, things are coming together where a kid, you could, you could train in, a, in another place and and really feel good that you're going to get the same level of coaching and and you're going to get the same benefits and that's what we want to do we want to provide that we want to we want to bring cohesion to the area and we want to build the mentality of these guys where they're not just thinking at the state level they're not just thinking at the NCAA level they're not just thinking in the um, world level but they're thinking from the Olympics to the world, to the NCAAs, to the state tournament, and then into your youth, your youth tournaments and things. Um, the mentality, it seems like in this state, especially and in this region, especially, it's uh, you know they don't want a lot of crossover. Coaches, quote unquote, don't want a lot of crossover because they don't want their athletes confused. That's hogwash. That's hogwash. I would, I, if, 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 you know, if I had a kid that wrestled, I would send him to, to Dennis Hall as easily as I'd send him to John Smith as easily as I'd send him to, to uh, Rob Cole, for example. It would not matter to me. I mean, the, the key is the exposure. Um, because really where he's going to get the bulk of his training is in his school system anyway. And everything else that you provide for your, for your athlete supplements him. And that's really what Eastern Iowa wrestling in this region of the state is about. It's about supplementing the training of these kids when they come into this, when they come into these workouts, 
that they feel good that they go back to their place and that they can add the things that they've learned mentally, emotionally, and physically, they can add those things to their wrestling and know that they're going to get better because of it. And that's all we're after. We're not saying we're the best. We're not saying we're the only answer. There's a lot of ways to, uh, as they say, to skin a cat. And I know that. I know that as well as anybody does. Um, but I also know that the knowledge that I possess from the programs that I've been around and the places in the world that I've been, that the best programs in the world, there is cohesive unity. There is a structure there that is solid. And we don't have that. We don't have that in Eastern Iowa. And that's what we're trying to provide. It's, it's that plain and simple.